All right, here we are in a beautiful Southern California morning looking at a really sweet 1929 Ford Model A pickup. This little pickup's got a lot of detail to it. Uh, we're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Spent a lot of time studying this. I've looked and looked and I keep finding something new every time I look again. Anyway, name of the truck's Little Henry. This particular truck's won a lot of awards. I believe it was, um, we'll have more specs and details at Spud's Garage as we gather them together. We don't often get it all when we visit the truck or the vehicles right up front. Anyway, 2013, 2014, truck finalist of the year for good guys. Very, very, very highly detailed top to bottom. You really have to kind of hang out and get to the bottom of the underside of this car and deeper in as we spend time in the engine compartment, that kind of thing. Finished in a single stage jet black. We'll get more paint deals at, uh, details at Spud's Garage. Little Henry's the name of the pickup. That's the license plate on the back. The owner's out of Illinois. The truck is stored here in Southern California at a uh, restoration shop that he does business with. Beautiful truck. I would tell you, uh, again, like I was saying, you walk around and you always find something new. Finished in a jet black underneath. The chassis has been all updated and revamped with uh, Corvette C3 suspension in the rear, so fully independent suspension all four corners because it has Kugel suspension up front. Fully independent front suspension, rack and pinion steering. It has a uh, GM 350 crate engine underneath the hood, a 700R4 automatic overdrive. Just beautiful, again, as we get into the details of it. Um, this motor meter is really cool, this Royce motor meter. But there's a lot of little intricate things is kind of what I'm talking about. These early lamps, they have turn signals hidden in the front here. It's all blacked out. There's not a lot of bling. I've seen a lot of these lately where uh, I like them this way. They're just uh, subtle, not overdone, but when you get down to the real brass tacks of it, so to speak, looking at the motor meter, um, the attention to detail is just stunning. Uh, especially as you get into the undercarriage, the screws, all the heads have been clocked, acorn style nuts. Has about We'll show you where the odometer is when we get it. I, we believe it has about 500 miles on it. Not a lot, just show miles, that kind of thing. You can definitely drive it, that's for sure. Has air conditioning, has wipers. We'll get up here and cover that with you as we, as we cruise around here. Again, little details. There's even little rubber bumpers on the end of the hood thing here so it doesn't cause a mark on the, uh, on the latch there. 2014. Uh, so it was finished about 2014. It's a multi-year project um, that spent several years building it. So the paint's a little bit older than the build, but the entire truck was finished in 2014. Uh, Good Guys Award winner, Good Wives Award winner, top 12 finalist. I believe it was a runner-up. Up here, custom fitted uh, visor on this uh, on the top here, and you'll see where it's got Allen polished hardware there. But they've actually fit two wipers up here. So it's got full wipers, it's fully functional. The windshield still comes out like it's supposed to. In other words, your uh, secondary air conditioning. It's all steel, finished in a beautiful jet black. Four wheel disc brakes, outboard. Again, Kugel suspension up front, Kugel components up front, and Corvette C3 in the rear. Steel running boards, all Henry stuff. There's little slight modifications throughout, and I'm not enough of a Model A aficionado to cover every little thing and catch every little thing. I know the visor wasn't like that from the factory, and uh, this uh, hood or hood roof panel appears to be custom fabricated. I don't know if they had solid steel in the 29 model or not. Little commercial area, so you're hearing forklifts and all that kind of thing. These are uh, wheelsmith wheels. It has 15s in the front and 17s, 17s in the rear here and 15s in the front. They're all powder coated black spoke with uh, stainless uh, fasteners on them. Open the door here, door jam to door jam. <laughs> we'll get up into the dash here. It's a lot of fun as we uh, cruise along. Again, I've spent several hours this morning going over this. The uh, All the woodwork's been all redone. All the hardwoods have been done. It has a custom headliner with an audio system up at the top. You'll see the uh, uh, the speaker cutouts just behind over there. You'll see the little mesh panels. The dash here is probably easier for me to cover from this side as we're over here. Um, 
It's got a really neat, here's the speedometer, it's fully functional, it's a GPS speedo, there's the GPS for it, it's got an oil gauge, it has a temp gauge down there. This is a really neat vintage uh, cigar lighter dash light kind of thing. If you twist it and turn it, it lights up the crystals there. It's got the fuel tank underneath the dash. I mean, uh, behind the dash here on the cowl. And it's reading a quarter tank. All restored, just beautiful. There's a lot of hands done stuff. I'll show it to you when I get over the other side too. Custom built, the, one of the gentlemen that, had, that built portions of this truck all hand fabricated things you'll see the indicator and the shifter is all custom made out of billet out of a hunk of billet stamped indicators here has an emergency breakdown on the floor down here it has seat belts in it this is a leather interior with a couple single vertical pleats on it back window you gotta love that small commercial back window I've looked all over on the paint and stuff. It's settled over the years. It's nicely done. It presents itself well and could easily still win trophies. There's a little bit of a touch up right here. And there's a little bit of uh, checking just in this one panel that I've been able to find. You really can't see it. Again, just being typical Spudman picky. Anybody tells you their uh, vehicle is perfect and brand new, beware they don't exist very nice very nice the hardwoods are finished on the back here again I'm trying to spend not too much time but enough time so they cover it you kind of get a feel all these are custom milled pieces uh, for the hardboards on the bedside and I like that they didn't put a name or anything on it the truck is a little Henry and it's on the grill but this is a, uh, a sprayed sanded custom finish on it. It's not brush work. It's a high-end finish and a lot of time was spent on it. I like the center caps here. It has BF Goodrich uh, Long Trail TAs in the back. Those are probably uh, tire size are 235 70 R17s in the rear. We'll get around to the front. Heck, might as well do it while I'm over here. The fronts are 155 80 R15s. Doors shut just beautiful. The panels on this are spectacular whistle straight everything's a lot of when we get to the undercarriage I know I've said that multiple times but you can't wait to get underneath there you will not believe it anyway acorn nuts here all polished and plated stuff step back here and let you take a look Might be a little bit of a long video with this one. I'm having too much fun with it. Anyway, all the bedsides, all the wood is the same way. If I could give you a level of the finish, it's beautiful hardwoods, but it's a uh, show quality finish, almost like the paint of the truck. Kind of get a feel there. Inside of the boards, forged script on the tailgate. Give you a peek at the rear end here. Corvette C3 suspension, polished, all the components under the undercarriage, anything that was metal uh, that required a finish, other than the chassis and all the under components there, but uh, attaching components, the engine block, all that was finished in a contrast that matches the interior of the car truck. I want to say car. Lil Henry. Has a uh, spare that'll fit the front. Well, it obviously fit the back too. You'd look a little funny or be leaning a little bit. Anyway, uh, beautiful. Just having a little fun there. This is the inter interior release latch, which you can also get from the outside um, if the window's down. Door jam to door jam, very professional build, meticulous. Almost everything about this thing is just totally meticulous. Hours had to have been spent just clocking the screws. Headliner, custom sculpted headliner. The audio system's up top here. Wiper motor, it's got a little map pocket up over on the right there. Factory style hardware here. German square weave carpet. Forgot to turn off that. Uh, uh, little dash light there psychedelic dash light again this is all handmade here's the turn signals this is made out of one piece of 
a billet here. Um, unbelievable. I'm talking about the turn signals here. I get off track here. This steering wheel is a commercial early, like uh, I'm going to say brass era steering wheel. Um, maybe not brass era, but uh, commercial rig 20s, early 20s, so to speak. These are all has little LED lights here for turn signals, so you get that. Underneath here, underneath the dash, so we can keep track of it, there's a uh, odometer that says 517 miles on it. Again, emergency brake. I know you're getting the idea. Spent a little bit of time talking about this one. It's just a gas and fun. Let's fire this girl up, give you a feel. Might as well keep it rolling. Stainless exhaust. Anyway, we think you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. If you're looking for a neat little Model A pickup, want to be different, your buddies will be jealous. All right, we'll get you underneath the hood here over on the passenger side and share it with you. We talked about the level of detail on this one. It's just to the nines, top to bottom, clock screws, that kind of thing. Make sure you hang on to the undercarriage portion of the video. And uh, we're going to cover the engine compartment over here from the passenger side, and we'll make a wander over to the driver's side here in just a moment and uh, cover that for you. GM 350 crate engine. We'll have more specs at Spuds Garage as we dig them all together and put it together in the ad as far as that goes. 700 R4 automatic overdrive transmission. It has a, a Corvette C3 independent rear suspension with a center housing. A lot of detail went into this when you look at it and you'll see more as we cover to the undercarriage portion of it. A lot of the metal components. It was either polished, painted, or finished in this maroon color. This whole block has been deburred, smoothed, and finished in a show quality maroon. Even to the level of the fuel pump, the mechanical fuel pump there. Motor mounts have little caps on them. A lot of acorn nuts and that kind of thing. It still utilizes the uh, fuel tank in the cowl. So here's the fuel turn off for it right here. It has low car components, a lot of low car components, a braided uh, oil dipstick tube and a braided oil transmission tube. Ceramic coated exhaust manifolds, beautiful. It has a uh, quick fuel type uh, Holley four barrel carburetor on it, dual feed. It has a polished aluminum bow tie intake manifold which leads me to the uh, GM crate engine. So it's a General Motors uh, Intake manifold, it has a GM distributor in it, I'm going to assume it has Protonics in it. Polished AC compressor, Sandine. Has a uh, high mount water pump in it, which is really nice because what it does, it raises the water pump off the center of the block and brings it up higher so that the fan is center of the radiator. So this one here is using a flex fan and uh, it makes it way more efficient when you move that fan up into the radiator like that or to the center of the radiator. Custom fan shroud. Lift the hood here. Give you a little peek. Polished billet air filter. GM one wire alternator polished. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Hang on, we'll cover do a little cursory over on the other side for you. Thanks for listening to me. All right, we promised we'd get over here to the driver's side and share the driver's side with you. We'll cover a couple more things that I just recalled when I was doing over the other side. And uh, one of them is the uh, Royce motor meter on the hood here. It's just way too cool for school. Anyway, um, underneath the hood, the 350 crate engine that we talked about, 700R4. Ceramic coated exhaust manifolds. Again, repeat myself. You'll see, we talked about the level of detail. Heck, they even uh, painted the... Uh, uh, oil pressure sender maroon quick fuel technologies carburetor on it red throttle bodies billet uh, um, thermostat housing there again all the screws are just clocked and beautiful fit and finish is unbelievable even acorn nut heads nuts right there you'll see those uh, on the undercarriage throughout this the way the steering comes down 
These uh, ceramic coated exhaust manifolds have uh, polished stainless custom exhaust with stainless uh, polished stainless hush power mufflers on it. Here's the coolant recovery bottle. This gives us a little bit better look at that high mount water pump over on the driver's side here. It also is, acts as an alternator mount. You can see how the factory water pump would have been way down here and it's raised the water pump up a good three, four inches. Places in the center of the fan shroud there. Anyway, hey, hang on to the end of the video. Definitely go to the undercarriage portion of it. Have a great day. All right, we're gonna share underneath the seat here with you to show you where the AC controls are. The evaporator system is all connected underneath the seat here. There's the uh, headlight controls right there. You'll see the uh, AC controls in the center there between the on the evaporator and of course the wiper switch is right there. We've got a heated seat too. All right, a couple little things I missed during the walk around. I actually forgot to cover them. There's a little tiny scuff here along the running board. It's more of a paint type of scuff that could be an easy touch up. Like they rubbed against at a show, maybe the side, little side of a hill or something like that. And the horn works. There's a little button right here. There you go. Hang on to the end of the video. coming out of the garage after the lift. That's a cold, cold start. Alright, we got it up on the lift here. Man, oh man, I promised this was going to be sweet on the bottom side and it certainly is. I've spent quite a bit of time studying it before I go out and do the video photo shoot on it. And we wanted to uh, put a little light on it for you here and kind of get a good feel. In the back here, this is uh, what we believe to be C3 Corvette rear suspension. Fully, everything's polished. All the hardware is either chrome plated or stainless. All the screw heads or acorn nuts and fasteners are all clocked. The woodwork on it is a sprayed finish. It's a very high-end professional, the bed wood here, chrome plating. Again, I'm just shocked at the level of detail. Anyway, as we move forward here, uh, C3, so it's got four piston calipers in the back here, chrome backing plates. Uh, the engine and the, all the suspension components other than what's been plated or polished is finished in a nice maroon or a period style maroon red. We'll go along here. The uh, exhaust exits out the rear here and uh, it's all polished stainless custom built hush power mufflers on it. You'll catch my shadow from here and there but as we look at it you'll see all polished and braided, uh, braided brake lines here not a lot of miles on it probably about a hundred miles you'll see they chrome plate even uh, chrome plated the uh, uh, u-joint caps there the finish on the bottom of it the chassis the frame the inner structure here of the running board panels is all the same quality as the finish of the exterior of the car again this maroon color on the drive shaft polished stainless uh, exhaust system on it. There's a trans cooler right there. It has an under the seat air conditioning system so this is going to be the receiver dryer for the air conditioning system and you'll see where it comes up and goes into there. It has a dual reservoir master cylinder, has four wheel disc brakes but it also has vacuum assisted power brakes. Here's the uh, brake bias adjustment front to rear Usually the builders get that dialed in and you can change it if you like, but most guys just leave it. Again, all this acorn hardware here, you'll see how, how the heads of these nuts are all clocked. Very uh, meticulous attention to detail on this one, top to bottom. The uh, C3 rear differential case or center housing is also polished. Gas shocks. 
I'll kind of spin around here and there and kind of give you a feel so we can cover it all. Horn up here. So a lot of time and money goes into building a truck like this. If you want one that'll just make your buddy's jaws drop, this is one that'll do it. The case, this is a uh, 700R4 automatic overdrive transmission. You'll see the case has all been polished. All the components, braided lines from the trans cooler here, low car style dipstick tube braided. Inspection housing, again the maroon color. Hoping the lighting's good here. Give you a good feel. The bottom side of the uh, 350 engine, Chevy 350. Get up front here. We're actually at Kugel's shop, so uh, we're going to get up to their front suspension here. All polished plated. Kugel front suspension, full IFS, adjustable co uh, coilovers in the front here. Chrome and polished. Bindles, same way, same level of detail. You'll see the acorn nuts up here. They're used everywhere on the bumper hardware. Go to the back side of the suspension here. You'll see the tie rod ends are finished in the maroon color. The rack, it's got a manual rack and pinion steering. Again, all polished components. It has, uh, we believe these to be wheel smith wheels. Uh, so they're true spork, spoke wheels, 15s in the front, 17s in the rear. We probably covered a lot of that on the outside of it. So we're just doing one more walk around here to kind of give you a feel. Unbelievable. All right, there you have it. Go to spudsgarage.com where you'll definitely find more. Thanks for listening to me. Have a great day.